Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're back on the updates 1.98 dev server and it's time to have a look at three new vehicles. And not just three new vehicles, a new mechanic which will probably scare you. So <laughs> the three new vehicles are pretty much the Japanese helicopter tech tree. It is the H1S early, the H1S and the H64 DJP. You can see them right here, and we'll have a look at them in a second. The first thing we're going to have a look at, though, is the mechanic that I just mentioned, and this is for the EC665 Tiger UHT, mainly for its PARS 3LR missiles. Now, I will say, before I demonstrate the mechanic, that Gaijin have already said that they are not sure that they want to implement this mechanic, that they are testing it over this weekend, and they are going to make decisions whether they believe it is unbalanced, or whether they believe it is balanced after this weekend. So you may never see this mechanic uh, in the actual overall game, and I have very much, much mixed opinions on it. So as you can see, we have the pause, uh, we have access uh, to some stingers as well, but we are just going to be using the PARS. So what is the mechanic? Well, it's a fire and forget mechanic, and what this means is you are able to fire off uh, PARS missiles after popping this little indicator here. It looks for a target, and then you can fire off a missile. Look, you can look for a target, it will engage one by itself, fire it off, and you can even just turn around, not bother, uh, you know, with the world or anything that is going on, and oh, that's a dead tank. Uh, you can even, with this mechanic, if you really want to, just in case, you know, you don't want to use your, uh, you don't want to use, you know, your stingers or anything like that, uh, if I can just turn the damn things off uh, for a second, what you can do is, you know, if, if you want to be a little bit more, um, I suppose, uh, aggressive with the targeting, you can do it uh, by yourself. So you can just target stuff like that, and you can fire stuff off, and then you can just disappear over here. And could you please be quiet, you silly thing? And maybe if I find it a target, it'll be quiet. It says it's acquired something. You obviously haven't, because you're still going. All right, we're going to uh, restart this. Maybe it's a little bit bugged. But the, the main thing that you're seeing is fire and forget mechanics, right? You are seeing here that this is the step into the idea that once you have hit a target with this little indicator, once you have got something, you can just fire something off and just do to do go about your business and the missile is going to go in and hit that uh, target as it goes. Now, it isn't just for ground vehicles as I will show you. This is a plane, okay, target locked, fire the missile, and as you can see, it will just go to it without you having to guide it or do anything else and pop. Now this isn't, uh, this is a natural thing that I suppose comes normal for a lot of helicopter pilots because uh, they have had some insane mechanics over the last, you know, a few uh, updates. But you can see that you can set up a bunch of different uh, PARS missiles to fire. Um, as long as you are in the general area of a target, you are able to set them up. <laughs> And if a target is destroyed, or if they, or if the vision to the target is destroyed, so if they go behind a hill, or if they uh, smoke up or something, the PARS missile will just explode in the air. Uh, so that is something to think about. But you can see that technically you can have, you know, all of the eight missiles in the air at once, firing at eight different targets, as long as you do them one after the other. So be afraid, be very afraid, that is terrifying. So the, the next thing is obviously the Japanese helicopter tree. So we have the H1S to start with as a 9.3. So no real starter vehicle for the Japanese, which is like the, you know, uh, along the lines of the US H1G or something like the Alouette for the Germans, straight in at 9.3 with this machine. And what is the difference between the H1S early and the H1S? Well, there's quite a few differences. So the first thing, if you have a look at the end, Engine. This one has a T53 L703, and the early has a T53 7 uh, T53 L703, showing that the engines are exactly the same. 
But the main thing, when you have a look at modifications, uh, because obviously the armor is pretty much exactly the same as well from the two profiles, the modifications is where it gets interesting. So the H1S early has access to MVDs and also Toe and Toe 4 and then some Mighty Mouse. That's about it. You know, it doesn't have a ton of stuff. Um, the toes are obviously what you want to go for, and you can have access to eight of them. Can't carry the 16. Now, boom. This is the H1S. It has, obviously, access to thermals and the Toe 2s. And not just Toe 2s, but Toe 2 4s. And what this means is you yourself can carry eight Toe 2s along with uh, some other firing options, such as miniguns or such as other things uh, that you want to bring, even if you want to bring some Mighty Mouse as well with the setup. So, yeah, it's uh, one of those things where pretty much the difference between us is thermals also the h1s gets access to flares and it gets access to better atgms gets access to the toe twos instead of just the standard toes so 630 546 315 and this uh, gets access to 630 546 315 so at least in the stat cards when it comes to their penetration the penetration is the same i'm looking at the wrong ones never mind 900 779 450 for the toe twos there you go that makes a little bit more sense but you can't take more of the toes uh, you are just stuck at eight for each with extra weaponry on the inner pylons uh, so that is something to think about and then as a final little addition of course the japanese apache this is the age 64 d japan version and that means it gets access to all the bells and whistles that the standard d variant gets so it gets thermals it gets agm uh, hellfires 114s and hellfire 2s even and is able to uh, collect 16 of them uh, to be able to fire off also has ircm and aim 92 so these are the stingers and a 30 millimeter cannon just on top gets flares stock because why not uh, might as well just give a bunch of uh bunch of flares to the machine and if you haven't played the apache uh, i suppose it is kind of nice that we have another one in the game and with the limited amount of uh, stuff that we have when it comes to uh, helicopters in modern day it kind of makes sense that a bunch of different nations are getting apaches this one is exactly the same as the american one or at least it seems very similar to it uh, the british one obviously has different air to air missiles uh, so that is where the difference uh, enshrines itself so that is uh, something to be uh, used to it does obviously have the air to ground radar and also the air to uh, and also the air to air radar if you want to change it so you can get access to both of these things uh, in the air which you know is nice for it but it doesn't get the fire and forget nature uh, that you have uh, from whoa the zoom is insane what the hell is going on with there <laughs> enable laser now i don't think so i don't want to do that uh, for some reason, that just completely missed. <laughs> like, what was that? Whoa. What is going on with these hellfires? Are they just deciding that they don't want to deal with it? That's very weird. Uh, but anyway, you know, you have the standard cockpit, uh, which is really nice. The cockpit placeholder. You obviously have a glass cockpit, uh, which works pretty well. You got access to the big old uh, rumper rumper uh, at the bottom there. And let's just uh, try and turn that off. Let's see if we can fire at this area. There you go. So you've still got the gun uh, at the bottom. And you've still got access to the Hellfires. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much just a reskinned Apache uh, longbow. Uh, which you'll find in the British tree, in the American tree, and now in the Japanese tree. There was a lot of talk about the Japanese helicopter tree. What would it have access to? What would we see in it? Would we see some weird and wonderful uh, Japanese helicopters which have access to pretty much no armament since they didn't have a ton of stuff uh, which did have uh, access to crazy armament. But instead now, what we just have is what I'm not really surprised by and I'm pretty happy with. You know, two H1Ss, one early, one late. Uh, and then, of course, an Apache just to end everything off. I will say that the overall 
I, I definitely will say that the jitteriness of... Like, the zoom on this is insane, right? Like, the, the zoom on this is crazy, but where the hell are my hellfires going? Are they just disappearing? Like, there's one, right? But it's just gonna miss. <laughs> so, I, t I don't know. I'm not, you know, unless I'm doing something wrong, which I might be. I'm not exactly, you know, helicopter literate when it comes to these things. Uh, but, uh, it, it just seems a bit odd. Maybe, maybe there is an issue with Hellfires. I know a few of the guys that I talked to on the Tech Hub talk a lot of the time saying that Hellfires have an issue. Um, unless uh, I change it to this, maybe this will help. Nope, it's still just completely missing. <laughs> maybe this? That is so weird. They just don't want to work properly. Hopefully that's uh, fixed by the time the uh, these guys come onto the uh, live server. But yeah, so Japanese helicopters are here. They're obviously not going to get a big show and dance because, well, the uh, the Italian naval is here. And also there's a bunch of other top tier MB, well, not MBTs, but top tier ground vehicles and top tier air vehicles that a lot of people are going to be interested in. But it is just nice to see another tech tree added, which is going to give us a bit more parity in the game, which is something that I'm very happy with. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Eugene's Terry, Daniel Stanton, Blackie, Elove Goat, Jay Wilt, Martinez, B. Young, Chris Giltnane, Trigger Hippie, Ambrosius McClellan, and also Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.